Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your January 2024 tarot and oracle forecast. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Well, this video is intended for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It could also be applicable to the cross watcher of an Aquarius. I'm doing this reading because I'm thinking about all the things that are coming up this month and one thing in particular has stood out at me and it's the new moon in Capricorn that's coming on January 11th. That's 1-11. Now how powerful is that in regards to numerology? It's new beginnings and of course that number is very important to me as Kelly Lorraine 111. So let's see what you can expect in January. We're going to take some overall messages. We're also going to take a look at what's going on in your headspace, your heart space, and spiritually. So let's see the overall theme for you for January 2024, and it is the element of earth. Practical, grounded, and determined. Okay, this is basically telling you to stay grounded. Don't let the emotions get the best of you because I feel like some people right now are really struggling in their emotions. And so let's see what else we need to know here. Okay, communing, connection with spirit and divine downloads. Stay grounded. Don't let the emotions get to you. Let those downloads come in clearly. Don't let them be clouded by anyone else or those, those emotions like I was talking about. Let's see what else we need to know here. Confidence is your key to success. Definitely. Okay, stay grounded and be confident. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on in your headspace mentally. What do you need to know about this month for you? Let's see. Okay, two cards came out. That's okay, we're taking three. We have here the Page of Swords and we have Seven of Wands. Now, here's the thing. Page of Swords is a card of spying or observing that could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. The Seven of Wands, yes, resiliency is super important, especially if you've had a tower moment. Um, I did just post a video about tower moments actually on my YouTube, if that's something you're interested in listening to um, as to why people have tower moments. But this also is a card that says, are you on the offensive or are you on the defensive? And the thing about Aquarius energy, and I say this to you with love, and that is that Aquarius energy is very stubborn. It's a fixed sign. And Aquarius is all or nothing, which means sometimes they don't want to hear it. And sometimes there is a bit of defensive energy there. So the question you have to ask yourself is, are you learning from your experiences? Are you open? Let's see what else. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a card of possibly wearing a, a, a false self mask or that somebody else is around you. Maybe you're suspicious of somebody around you and their energy right now. Maybe that's why you've been spying or observing if that's the case. Maybe you're trying to confirm something. Let's see what's going on in your heart space. Six of Pentacles. Well, you want equal giving and receiving essentially, right? Don't we all? You want balance. And Ten of Pentacles, you want your tangible fulfillment. Now, interesting that the card above here said grounding or groundedness. Um, these are tangible cards in your heart space. You want to feel secure, of course. And there's the Ten of Cups. You want happiness. Now, 1010 10 could also be an angel number that you're seeing. We just talked about 111, so 1010 10 could very well be important to you. We talked about that in my live the other day, actually. Now, let's see in the spiritual sense for you. What's going on spiritually? Three of Pentacles, excitement. This is about an upgrade to a current situation. This is about wanting to move yourself into a new direction. And the Nine of Swords says you're a little bit worried. There's trauma there. Okay, past traumas, triggers, hurts. And it's almost like your emotional pain body wants to pull you backwards. But you have to be stronger than that. See, Queen of Wands, charisma. You've got to be confident in who you are. Believe in yourself. You have the capabilities. You have the strength. Aquarius people are very intuitive. So let's go back to your headspace and look at that page of swords, that bit of spying or observing. See the phoenix rising from the ashes, death and rebirth. 
I kind of feel like you're doing this energy where like you're looking over your shoulder a little bit at the past. You know, that last glance before you move, like you move on. That seven of wands. Yeah, see, here you go. There's this like power struggle back and forth. A lot of the times Aquarius energy struggles with shutting the door on something because if they shut the door, it's dead to them. And they don't want to do that. But ultimately, it is necessary to move forward. Okay, Seven of Swords, the Emperor. Aries energy. King of Fire. Hmm. You know, there's this need to move forward with passion and purpose. To take off the mask, if you're wearing that mask. That six of pentacles in your heart space, you want that equal giving and receiving. And let me just remind you of something, is that Aquarius gets quite upset when people don't reciprocate. Because they give so much. And they're more sensitive than people realize. So it could very well be that you're taking things to heart, that things haven't been equal. Now, the stars card is about wishes coming true and peace and miracles. And in the tarot, the star card is Aquarius energy. So again, that's a good sign for your balance. Now, that ten of pentacles, that tangible fulfillment, you're a little bit worried about it. Okay? And maybe financially, you're, you know, counting your pennies. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you also have to remember that money's an energy exchange. And... You know, if you're living in lack, you're going to continue to be in lack. Now, I'm not saying go spend foolishly. What I'm just saying is be aware that if you're holding on too tightly to things or holding yourself backwards, you will continue in that energy. Now, the Ten of Cups here, see, you want to go to the next level. So don't hold yourself back, right? I mean, if this is a relationship in your heart space, maybe you're wanting the relationship to go to the next level. And let's see, because spiritually you have excitement for going to the next level and it's important to communicate clearly. You might even get some communication in January about an offer going to the next level, whatever that means, but you have to let go of that trauma, that old cycle, because there's the world, completion of a cycle. You have to let it go so that you can have the new, and look what popped over the moon. Well, that new moon may be really significant, significant to you on 111. Queen of Wands, be confident. Whatever comes at you, be confident that you've got this. Because you do. Okay, so let's take a Power of Surrender card here just to see what you need to surrender or surrender to. And we have here, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. I'm not surprised because that card was all about being grounded. So whatever gets you grounded, do it. I really hope this resonates with you. Um, if you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. If you'd like a 2024 tarot and oracle forecast, it's also available on my website. Thank you always for your kindness and support with my videos, the likes, the subscribes. It really means the world to me. Thank you very much, and I wish you an amazing January.